So here we are on our first field trip of the year with the mining class, Sustainable Resources 12. Oh, guys, we need it out of the way. Oh yeah, let's try this again. Here's the mining class, Sustainable Resources 12. We're on our first field trip of the year over to McDougal Creek. Now guys, last day we talked about two different types of gravel deposits. What were the names of those two different types of gravel deposits? Alluvial and eluvial. Okay, can looking around right now, can anyone see an eluvial, eluvial deposit somewhere? Gravel deposit. Right here. Yeah. Nope, not underneath your feet. Someone pointed out over there. Where is it? The rock. The river. Point it out. The mountain. Okay, if you look up there, all those shale slides, all those slides coming off the mountain, that's all eluvial gravels because it has eroded from the base rock. It's eroded from the base rock, but it has not yet found water. Looking around us here, can anyone see an alluvial deposit? One that has been worked by water. We are just a little few feet away from the creek, that's true, but look around, look where you can see gravels around here. The ditch, okay. The ditch, possibly. Look across the far side of the road there, guys. See those little gravel hills on the far side of the road? I know those are alluvial deposits because all the rocks are round. That's the way you tell alluvial deposits, the rocks are round. Okay, let's head down to the creek. Right over there. Okay, guys, here we are down uh, on the creek. This is McDougal Creek in West Kelowna here. This creek has a little bit of gold in it. We will find some gold today, uh, but not very much. What we're doing today is we're gonna just try our skills at panning in the real environment. And I'm gonna show you a few spots of where to look to find the best gold. Can you stop clicking that shovel for a few minutes? Thanks. I'm gonna sh show you a few spots where to look for and dig for the best gold. Now, someone pointed out to me last year when we were doing this that technically we're not supposed to be digging around a bridge. So for this year, we're not going to be underneath the bridge here. We're going to go downstream. Now one of the lessons I'm going to give you guys is about private property, crown land, parks and stuff like that. I have checked this area out and the stream bed and back for a little ways on both sides is all crown land. So we don't have to worry about encroaching on private property as long as we don't go too far upstream. So from here down, we're safe. I want you guys all to stay within sight of me. So going downstream, you can go down as far as the little bedrock outcrop, the big corner that's down there, and I'll stay down there where I can see you all. So let's just walk downstream a little bit, guys. Okay, guys, I will be going through in a lot more detail where to look in streams to find the best gold. I'm only gonna give you two pointers today for you to work, to sort of work towards. Gold will often settle out behind big rocks. So if you look behind Logan right here, there's a big rock right there. A good spot to dig is right behind it. And I mean right behind it. In a small creek like this, we don't have to go too far away from it. Six inches behind it is perfect. The other place that gold will settle out is on the inside of corners in the creek. So you can see like just down river here, the creek makes a bit of a curve around. If you look on the inside corner, that's the best bet. If you can find a big rock on an inside corner, golden. It's golden. That's where you want to look. That, a pun? that was sort of a pun. It was a very bad attempt at a pun. A very obvious attempt at a pun. Okay, I'm going to just fill up one pan. I'm going to give you one quick demonstration of doing a pan here in the creek, and then I'm going to let you guys just go play for a while. Once you've gotten familiar with playing in a creek, we'll go through things in more detail. You enjoy yourself down there? Yeah. You guys want to come back ne next week? Yeah. Or the week after? Yeah. Perfect. 
Um, I definitely noticed as watching you guys pan, we need a bit more practice. We need a bit more practice. So we go back uh, next week, or yeah, next week, and do a bit more practice in the tubs. And then at the end of next week or the week after, we'll come back here one more time. Awesome. Okay. You guys have fun so far? Yeah. Yes. Perfect.